Anyway, I guess before we get through, I, I did go over to visit Pia Lindstrom in Paris. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, and I met Mom. Yeah. Again. Again, but met her at, at they had a house in a little town called Choiseul, which is 30 miles, either miles or kilometers, I can't remember. Probably South of Paris, anyway. Yeah. Country, country thing. And so uh, I was invited out there to stay. You know? So I spent a week or more there. And uh, my own bedroom, of course. Yeah. You know? And watched Ingrid. It was really something to watch her. She was fantastic. I was going to say, knowing you and knowing her, I bet you were more impressed with Ingrid than you were with Pia. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, totally. Yeah. But Pia was a very, was a very attractive young lady, by the way. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. But Ingrid was out there. She, you know, she's, she's still a newscaster big, in New York, I believe. Big movie star yeah. and everything. Yeah. She's out there. She's very digging beautiful. holes and planting plants in her garden, and just you know, just dirt and stuff and. And oh, she was fabulous, and no makeup or nothing like yeah, that. Yeah. And uh, and they had a pet donkey called <laughs> Eeyore, <laughs> who was, who, but it was a Sardinian donkey. And it, the island of Sardinia is like up and down. Not like the ones we saw today. Kind of. No, well, they're pretty damn close. So. Yeah. And so all the paths, this little paths. Could, so for somehow, the donkeys having just been there forever, their eyes are on each side. Yeah. So they can see over the cliffs. Sure. Yeah. So you get big, big, beautiful eyes, but they're like this. <laughs> they cannot see forward. Yeah. You, know, you know they got to do this. Yeah. Well, we had a cocktail hour at the house. Well, she did. Excuse me. <laughs> anyway. So five o'clock or something. Uh, all the animals were there. There were. Pia had a dog called Mia, mine, right? Anyway. Yeah. And there was another dog, which I can't remember, a shepherd. And there were two cats. <laughs> and Eeyore. And at five o'clock, they're all standing in front of the French door, waiting to be let in because for the cocktail hour. Right. <laughs> and so help me, she would, Ingrid would go over and open the door, and the animals would come in, and they'd, the cats would settle there, and the dog would settle there. It's like there, champ, there, there. Roy. It's but, like yeah. champ for yeah. the cocktail. Yeah, but Eeyore would go sit right <clears throat> in front of the fireplace, and he'd, he'd sit sideways so they could see everything. Was sure. Yeah. Wow. That's great. Crazy. <laughs> Absolutely crazy. Now, this is why you were flying Pan Am, so yeah. you could get back and forth. And yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Oh, man. Yeah, for nothing. Yeah. Cockpit pass. You know what that is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>